brothers and sisters have been through, what a great opportunity to be with you here today. I am grateful for you and for the support that you have given during this pandemic. My name is Mark Mendenhall, and I am the second counselor in the stake presidency of the Poway, California Stake of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. During this time of uncertainty and hardship, how do we find gratitude during crisis? How do we maintain a spirit of hope within ourselves, within our families, within our communities, and within our congregations? Being of the Christian faith, I will take my comments from two leaders in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. They are both from the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles, Elder Dieter F. Uchtdorf and Elder Jeffrey R. Holland. In a general conference of the church held in October 2020, Elder Uchtdorf stated the following, Every dispensation has faced times of trial and hardship. Enoch and his people lived in a time of wickedness, wars, and bloodshed. But the Lord came and dwelt with his people. He had something unimaginable in mind for them. He helped them establish Zion, a people of one heart and one mind who dwelt in righteousness. Young Joseph, the son of Jacob, was thrown into a pit, sold into slavery, betrayed, and abandoned. Joseph must have wondered if God had forgotten him. God had something unimaginable in mind for Joseph. He used this period of trial to strengthen Joseph's character and put him in a position to save his family, end quote. Elder Uchtdorf continued, quote, What do we learn from these examples and the hundreds of others in the scriptures? First, the righteous are not given a free pass that allows them to avoid the valleys of shadow. We all must walk through difficult times, for it is in these times of adversity that we learn principles that fortify our characters and cause us to draw closer to God. Second, our Heavenly Father knows that we suffer, and because we are his children, he will not abandon us. Think of the compassionate one, the Savior, who spent so much of his life ministering to the sick, the lonely, the doubting, the despairing. Do you think he is any less concerned about you today? My dear friends, my beloved brothers and sisters, God will watch over and shepherd you during these times of uncertainty and fear. He knows you. He hears your pleas. He is faithful and dependable. He will fulfill his promises, end quote. In his April 2020 General Conference address to the church, Elder Jeffrey R. Holland stated, quote, but what of our look ahead? We still have hopes that have not yet been fulfilled. Even as we speak, we are waging an all-hands-on-deck war with COVID-19, a solemn reminder that a virus 1,000 times smaller than a grain of sand can bring entire populations and global economies to their knees. We pray for those who have lost loved ones in this modern plague, as well as for those who are currently infected or at risk. We certainly pray for those who are giving such magnificent health care. When we have conquered this, and we will, may we be equally committed to freeing the world from the virus of hunger, freeing neighborhoods and nations from the virus of poverty. May we hope for schools where students are taught, not terrified they will be shot, and for the gift of personal dignity for every child of God, unmarred by any form of racial, ethnic, or religious prejudice. Undergirding all of this is our relentless hope to, for greater devotion to the two greatest of all commandments, to love God by keeping his counsel and to love our neighbor by showing kindness and compassion, patience and forgiveness. These two divine directives are still and forever will be the only real hope we have for giving our children a better world than the one they now know, end quote. My dear brothers and sisters, I find gratitude in crisis through living the two great commandments that are mentioned in the Bible, love God and love our neighbors. I feel that if we can all do this together, we will have joy and prosperity in this life, that we will serve alongside one another for the goodness of ourselves, our families, our friends, our congregations, and our communities. I love you and I pray for you, and I leave these things with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.